you ever hear of Cross Eagle? No. The Germans picked up one of our officers. They got him stashed away in the prison here at Sosurb. We gotta get him out. The high-ranking German officer's coming to take over the command at Sosurb. The plan is to grab him before he gets there. All right, now after we get him, what then? Then we make a deal with the Germans. We exchange the German officer for Scoville. All right, we're running out of time. I want you to give me a man to take me to the prison with the Holden Scoville. <laughs> Norris Coastal Defense Battery, Sector S. Fire Control Lieutenant von Rubel reporting. Range coordinates, ground to ground. Target heading south. Azimuth, 02 degrees left. Correct elevation, 52 degrees at horizon. Every thousand meters. Firing range decreased by 1.5 degrees. By 1.3 degrees. By 1.1 degrees. expected, Major. Thanks for the information. Well, that enemy transmitter's been destroyed? With a couple of tons of thousand pounders right on target, I don't see how it could survive. Well, your aim must have been bad. All your squadron did was chalk up flight time. Matthews has been intercepting all signals transmitted out of that station since this morning. It's still there, intact, and operating in the same area, you and your 2,000 pounders. Let's hit them right away, sir. Go at them again and... No, I can't allow if they suspect the reason. An airstrike could tell the whole German army what we're up to. You see, Parker, we'd alert them so they'd send their reserves here. Then we wouldn't be able to effect a diversionary landing. Or invade this zone behind the enemy's Atlantic wall. Or divide them here, right where our whole show hits the shore and, and they clobber us. But, sir, if we let it go on signaling, you won't be able to create any diversion. The German long-range batteries are directed by this transmitting station. You're right. That transmitter has got to go. Fortunately, Major Barrett has a plan to destroy it. You could take over the hill with a parachute attack. No. If we show too much interest in that hill, it'll tip them off to where we're going to disembark. Clearly a commando operation. But a commando raid, that'd be suicide. No. These commandos will be sent ashore only where they can slip behind the enemy. The uplands are not very heavily occupied. 
and French resistance there is thick. Major Bat, proceed with your plan. You only have two days and three nights. Is that understood? You have only two days and three nights. Yes, sir. Your squad leader's up to it? I think so. You can't just think so. You have to be sure. We can count on it. I chose the man myself. Be Sergeant Blint. He volunteered. Should a playboy like you want to volunteer for such a risky mission? I find that my playing gets more and more monotonous, Sarge. You want something more risky, hmm? <laughs> Strike one, Sarge. <laughs> <laughs> I bet your sense of humor doesn't last long. Uh huh. I see that your father's master is a millionaire. Now the world won't suffer if a playboy gets killed. And danger might do you good. Mm -hmm. You're in. Thank you, Sarge. Well, look who's here, my friend Tyler. I thought you were dead. Just my luck to have you here. I don't need it. I know his record. Petty thief, 12 time sentence. Not bad. Intelligent. Know what that is? It's a service of some kind of English secret. <laughs> uh, you ask for it. I guess we can do with a few German wallets. Okay. Thanks. Where did you escape from? I was in C.D. Abyss. The 3rd Battalion of the Desert Foreign Legion in Mosego. Just call me Sergeant. Oh, pardon, Sergeant. Got to be a habit. Why did you desert? Deserted? I served my enlistment and I came to fight the Germans. No, like hell you did. I think you're after French women. No, sir. No French women or any woman. I don't want a damn pervert among my men. You insult a husband of 20 years. Matter of fact, I might have chosen a French woman. But I got so many as it is, Sergeant. Uh -huh. So you were captured by the Arabs? Yes, sir. I battled my way out of that, though. I should have cut before they tortured me. Mm -hmm. So you've got what it takes. But get rid of that knife, or it's no go. I assure you I'm able to use it to good effect. I can prove it. Fall in. <laughs> I've that before. No need to read the record. I'm Dan McClower. And I like this business. I was one of Lucky Luchanos, a bodyguard. A real beauty. You were tried for dope peddling and freed on parole. Later charged with killing three gunmen. Freed again. No proof. All the witnesses sort of vanished. Why'd you volunteer? Because I'm a crack shot. I'm an artist on one of these things. I don't want you on this mission. You're ready for the electric chair. Okay, Boy Scout, here's something to laugh at. I would give a lot to cut your throat, but I'll deprive myself of that pleasure. It's too good for a yellow monkey like you. Come on now, get up, fall in. I'll let the Nazis take care of you. We'll see what Luciano taught you. <laughs> But are there any decent men left? I don't like your face. I might say that of yours. Proves you're smart, huh? Shall I show you what I can do, Sarge? Born troublemaker. Well, then, I guess my record explains everything. Gambler? Something worse than that from what I can see. Read it aloud, if you like. I could care less. Hmm. If I cared, you'd be in trouble. You're real poison. That's your opinion. But poison like you can be very useful to us. Fallen.
Too young, I need men, not kids. Aren't you too old a man, sir? I can take care of you. You can try. Maybe I'll surprise you. Let's see your proof. You must be a pretty desperate kid to take this attitude. For me, to be killed is the only goal in my life. You met the wrong girl, that's all. You'll get over it. Women are what they are. You'll learn not to take them seriously. They're only good in bed. You keep your damn mouth shut. My mother's no slut. Oh, she's a fine woman, I'm sure of that. But then why did you leave home? For very good reasons. And what about your father? He hasn't been around ever since I was born. Well, these things happen, unfortunately, but I don't see any reason why you want to... Uh... I have my reasons. What's your name? Cliff Swinton, Lowell, Massachusetts. No, he's too young, no experience. Not too young to enlist, Sergeant. And I've got the right to see if you're fit to lead this mission. Is that so? Why? Because I doubt it. You're too old. Too old, huh? You wanted to show off a little, and you did. Now shut up before I kick you in the can. My, you're a powerful man. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, kid. Put it on. Sergeant Flynn, I see you've got problems. Sorry, sir. I was just trying the boy's strength. He's too young, hasn't got enough experience. I don't want to take him along. You know, I once met a teacher who would automatically reject those students who knew more than he did. But one day, he met a student who went straight to the dean and reported him. Can you guess the name of that student? Barrett. I was that student. Line up with the others. Sergeant Flynn. A submarine will land you on the French coast tonight. And don't forget, D-Day depends on this mission. The fifth of this month, at midnight. Now listen, you all volunteered. I don't have to tell you how important this is. From now on, we all depend on you. Maybe you think I'm exaggerating, but you set D-Day with this mission. Once you're in enemy territory, you can only rely on yourselves and the French resistance. There are three nights and two days to do this job, and no more. I know that you'll succeed. I know about each and every one of you. In peacetime, decent people have no use for you. And part of the reason you'll succeed is the satisfaction of knowing that for once, everybody needs you. So good luck, boys, and thanks.
bravi soldati i tedeschi. I migliori del mondo. E chi lo dice questo? Il tuo amico Goebbels. Vai al diavolo. Ma perché ce l'hai tanto con loro? Giusto. Vedi che vita ti hanno fatto fare per sette mesi davanti a Cassino. Però adesso ne faccio tante salsicce. I casi sono sempre due. O sarai tu a portarti a casa le salsicce di tedesco, o saranno loro a farsi le polpette di ladro. Nessuno mi deve dare del ladro, hai capito? Oh, mi fai, imbecille! Su, tiratelo fuori di lì. O oh, Connor, queste trovate falle con i tedeschi se ci riesci. E finite da tutti di fare chiasso, o vi sentiranno anche a Berlino. Avanti, su. Aiutati, no? Che bravo, proprio un'azione da femminuccia. Uh, questa me la paghi. Fermi, e silenzio. O faccio secco il primo che parla. Avanti. La forza d'operatela per i remi e la cattiveria per i tedeschi. Was ist geschehen? Let's get our stuff and move fast. Mai stato così facile far fuori qualcuno. Se su tutta la costa è così, vinciamo la guerra in una settimana. <laughs> Otto, sono a posto, ora dobbiamo sistemare solo due o tre divisioni. Avanti. Sarge, where are the partisans contact us? We'll be there in a few hours. They see a lot of them out here. I should be dead pretty soon. Could you tell me, Sarge? Between Lassie and Coutonville. But I don't see why you should die. We've had enough talking, now shut up. He must have thought I was a mule. Mule resenting compared to you. Take ten. You, Sandgard. Secondo te, alludeva? No, non me lo dire. Voglio vedere se una volta riesco a capire da solo. May I ask you a question, Sarge? 
If you make it quick. You're mad at me, aren't you? No, I'm not. Well, I'd have been burned in your shoes. Avrei dato un braccio. Sei solo per questo, sono pronto a darle la rivincita. Non c'è più ragione. Ho perso la mia sola occasione ed ora è tardi. Ci sono cose che non riesci a cambiare e che ti tormentano perché senti che è colpa tua. Le pare tanto importante vincere o perdere una scazzottata. Lei era stanco e io ne ho approfittato. Bene, nessuno è contento di ritrovarsi invecchiato. Forget it, kid. Well, that sure takes a load off my mind. No. Shh. You hear something? Says. I know their uniforms. That pack must be under somebody. How close is the partisan's hideout? Not far. They beat his toy. What do we do? Too late. But not to give those killers what they deserve. See, you all came to the same conclusion. Yeah, the subpartisan who's betraying all the others. That's why those poor guys were slaughtered. What else do the Germans know? Well, they know about our raids, so be ready to die. There isn't much we can do. Let's move and move fast. They'll be after us in a minute. Your first lesson. War isn't won by infantry or cavalry. But by people like these, they're the ones who pay for it. So there are seven American soldiers in all. We must prepare a reception. Your war, Colonel. I shall order a reception to their taste. An explosive one. I think it would be more interesting to take them alive. 
they would know much of significance. I must be sure to learn what they're preparing with this mission. My informant says their target is Mont Rouge. I'm getting off here. You are, huh? Go on, Sarge. Put me in a report. Pick up that sack. I'd like to see you make me do it. Don't be an idiot, Tyler. Pick up that sack. I ain't gonna be shot. That'd attract the Germans. Come on. You leave this to Blin. Easy. Keep out of this, Cliff. We need Tyler. <laughs> Everybody loves everybody else on a mission like this, or else you're not going to make it back. But let me ask you something. What do you think's in that sack? Like it's my headstone, because it weighs like a piece of marble. The trouble with you, Tyler, is that you're always so dull. In that sack, there are cans of food for the partisans. And 20,000 bucks. Now that they've got the partisans, we'd better go easy on Tyler. I propose we have a party. Split the loot among us. We're soldiers, not gangsters from Chicago. What do you say, Tyler? Oh, you can be sure of me, Sergeant. Tyler's getting too old. I'll do it. Hey, you take your hands off that sack. I could go for a year with what's in it. You just take care of your damn bazooka. Thanks, kid. Take cover! <laughs> There are machine gun. I'll keep you covered. Try to reach the other side and stop them. They got us in a trap. We're trapped like rats. I like being roasted over a slow fire. Who's coming with me? I'll go. Second lesson. Don't ever volunteer except for KP duty. Didn't you say you've got to learn by experience? Yes, but the point of experience is living through it, my boy. Once you start, keep running. Now! No, I believe in Santa Claus. Well, you can say hello to Santa Claus. Up there.
It's our turn now. <laughs> Jacqueline. We were to join a group of the Maquis. We want to help the invasion. We heard the explosion. With a girl like this one with you, you should have fun fighting this war. She's here because the Germans killed her parents. We'll go with you. Why? The partisans supposed to meet us were massacred by the Nazis. Our mission is very important and dangerous. They weren't the only ones. That's why we take precautions. You can trust us. Unfortunately, I have reason to believe there's a traitor in your group. I'll guide you. Tell your men to follow. Well, I'd better go first. I'll speak to the others and they will decide. Yeah. Qu'est-ce que vous voulez? Il vient de Saint-Lô. C'est la roche qui m'envoie. Bien. Passez. I don't like the look of these partisans. Shut up. Alan. Help me with this buckle. If I see you with her again, I'll kill you. They have agreed. You may join us. Bienvenue à la résistance, monsieur. My uncle Gaston is waiting. Gaston Duvalier? Oui. 
They'll show you the way. Come ti chiami tu? Bob Master. Io e Bon. Tu parli francese? Male. Solo qualche parola. Sono stato a sciare tre o quattro volte di Grenoble. Ah. Anch'io ci andavo spesso quando c'erano le vacanze. Con la guerra ho dovuto cambiare i libri. Mi sto laureando in mitra. <ride> E da loro noi siamo due compagni di studio. <ride> Welcome to France, Monsieur Blain. I'm glad to be here. You missed our appointment. You were supposed to meet us at the hut. I was sent to organize this other group which saved me from the massacre. Yes, I know. Have you discovered the name of the traitor? I'm only sure that it's no one here. You bought all we asked you? Uh-huh. Anatole, Francois. Hey, monsieur. Tyler, hand over the sack. Put it in my tent. Partita. Sono solo dei mercenari. E chi paga? Noi altri, noi altri, che intanto ci giochiamo la pelle per liberarli dai tedeschi. Piantala! Si sbagliano. Non sanno che con questi soldi compriamo armi. Spesso da qualche ufficiale tedesco che ogni tanto riusciamo a corrompere. Ora devi aiutarci. I was informed by radio that your group would arrive today. I don't know how we can help you. We want to destroy the Mont Rouge radio transmitter. <laughs> Why, that's stupid. We are only here to obey orders. What's so damn stupid about destroying it? Monsieur, don't take offense. I, I simply meant that the enemy is strong at Mont Rouge. But how to reach the transmitter? Since the enemy has converted it into a fortress so impregnable. That's our business. All I want from you is two people who know the area and who can guide us. Hello, Amar. Vous voulez aller? Nous irons. On les amènera à mon rouge. You take me with you also? Why, you're just a child. My name is Pierrot. I'm 13 years old. And I bet you, my father, that I have killed more German than you. Alors, will you take the bet? I'm sure you'd win the bet. But even if you lost, your trousers wouldn't fit me too well. Look here, this mission is too dangerous for a boy your age. They know the way, monsieur, but I was raised in an orphanage there. And I know that area as well in night as in day, every inch of Mont Rouge. That is true. You know, Sarge, as it says in the Old Testament, <laughs> the soldiers of Israel didn't kill Goliath. It was a boy called David. Hard if I looked after him? All right, so you do a good job. <laughs> <laughs> you had better wait here till midnight before you start, monsieur. Your men must rest now. I'll join you at Mont Rouge. When you reach the mountain, I'll be on hand and waiting. Where are you going now? I omitted to say that I'd notified your officers that you'd all been shot, so I must tell them to disregard the mistake. Don't you have a radio here? <laughs> I'm also used to taking my precautions. Hello, my guy, en route. 
Sorry, I am not going to sound low. You must obey. You are too young. I must look after you. Hey. You mean that I try to... Uh... My niece fears nothing from men she's able to resist. But there are traps. Another trap by the SS? Why ask me? A bientôt, monsieur. Au revoir, monsieur Duvalier. Cercheremo di dormire un po'. Ce n'è bisogno. Devo insistere, signore. Se il mio battaglione non attacca Mont Rouge questa notte, qui si va incontro a un disastro. Ed è mio dovere ricordarglielo. Sì, lo so, Barclay. Prepari tutto, ma l'ordine voglio darlo all'ultimo momento. Era prevedibile, signore. Non era una missione. Era un vero suicidio. Non crederò mai che si siano fatti ammazzare così da stupidi. La costa in quel punto è poco sorvegliata. I rapporti di Duvalier sono risultati sempre esatti. E il suo ultimo messaggio non permette il benché minimo dubbio. La trasmittente tedesca deve essere distrutta domani. Non possiamo più aspettare. Sì, lo so, Barclay. L'ha già detto. Se il nostro settore andrà incontro al disastro, sarà per colpa mia. Allora, signori, prepararsi. E che Dio ci aiuti a non fare sciocchezze. Yes? Thanks, man. I'll buy a drink. Barrett! Parker! We got something to celebrate. Oh, we have, sir. Good news, sir. When I get around to handing out medals, Pat, I'll pin one on you. Me, sir? Yeah. You're the one who recommended using those jailbirds. Well, here's their good health. And also to their good sense. For the way they carried out their job. <laughs> A che pensi? A casa. Penso al mio giardino. Alla mia stanza. E al tempo in cui eravamo degli esseri umani. Tutto quanto tornerà come prima. E sarà bello pensare a questi giorni. Chi ti prende? È già un po' di tempo che anche una carezza ti dà fastidio. Non pensare male. Non è quello che tu credi. Ti amo. Solo che stiamo vivendo come una vita di altri. Come fantasmi perduti in un sogno sbagliato. Vado a bere. Altra spedizione di caramelle in mangia crauti. 20.000 cucuzze. Ve le immaginate le cose che si potrebbero fare? Mi viene il mal di testa. Dividili fra tutti noi e vedrai che il mal di testa diminuisce, amico. Non starci allora, sei scartato, come dice Bly. Sarà uno di meno. Se lo facessimo noi due, eh? Al 50%, tu ed io soltanto. Che te ne pare come idea? How do you like this dump? Beautiful. Ah, he's got troubles.
lay off of her. Have a look. I shall let them take care of you. That will be a next time. I'll kill you with my bare hands. <laughs> Odd we should come to meet under such circumstances. If only I'd met you earlier, I don't think I'd ever have been so stupid. You're never so stupid as when you think you're through. Your time is up. Well, I just realized what it means for me to be here. Non è vero. Perché se pensi questo e sei sincero, devi poi avvelenare tutto con l'ironia. È un buon sistema di autodifesa, ma aiuta a non illudermi. Forse non sembra, ma siamo tanto uguali. Non sappiamo credere. Scappiamo, non vogliamo vivere. I must come and put on something warm. Well, if you must, a soldier learns to count on the unexpected. This is what we call missing the boat. Why is changing clothes so important right now? I shall tell you. We must go in one hour. Why do you say we? What the hell do you mean, Ivan? Well, I'm going with you to Montrouge. Encampment. I'm afraid it'll work again. Yeah, but this time he showed his hand. Yeah, it couldn't be anyone else. And I think we paid 20,000 bucks to a store pigeon. You mean you suspect my uncle of betraying us? Tell me why. A hero would take dollars to fight for us and wouldn't mind making them into German box. Let's go back and see what happened. <laughs> Watch out, boys. It's a crowd. Get out of my back. Sooner or later, we're bound to fall into their hands. Credi di potercela fare? Sì. Una volta nel deserto ho camminato per cento chilometri con la testa sotto il braccio come un melone. Non voglio perdermi in finale. <laughs> What happened? Everybody is dead. Femmes, les enfants aussi. Women, children. All of them were murdered. It was up to us to take the watch. 
We escaped the bombardment. Come with us. You can help us. We. Oui. I must get revenge. You'll be our guide. You want to reach my rooms before dawn. Uh, you will be there in time to hear the Angelus from Saint Michel. <laughs> Ti posso medicare? L'ho già fatto io, non è cosa grave. Mm. Visibility 17 miles at the base of the mountain. Low mist forming, but not very dense. Scattering ahead of the wind. Wind direction at this minute, south, southeast. Situation normal. In this sector, nothing out of the ordinary. Over. Can you read the signals? Uh, it's German. I understand. Uh, it's hard for me. They're telling the transmitter to broadcast that there's a submarine in Zone 3. Now, what does that mean? Check reception, now the location is altered. That the sending station is no longer on the hill. Just a minute. No, from here you can't see the signals. But from here you can. So, we're right in line of sight between the observatory and the transmitter. And we're right in line with the orphanage, too. Well, I reply that reception is clear, Herr Leutnant, and they are waiting for further instructions. Have you taken the necessary steps to ensure the Americans have an adequate reception? Your yeah, Colonel. I have reinforced the garrison to Penic Montrouge, and when they try to attack it, they'll be given a surprise party. Well, so they'll be shot without suspecting that we relocated the station. Nevertheless, I would feel more secure if you strengthen the garrison at the orphanage. Say, two sections. I anticipated your order. The men are here. Oh, this way, please. Mi spiace che noi non sentiamo il suono dolce di campana. Quando era in orfanatrofio e io sentiva quella campana, non mi sembrava più solo al mondo. Le campane sono per la pace e i frati non le suonano perché è meglio finché c'è la guerra. Però fino ad oggi non ha mai smesso di suonare. Chissà perché. Ah, anche le campane. Il nostro compito è distruggere l'emittente di Morouge. Perciò, se devo distruggere anche i frati e le campane, voglio lo straordinario. I shouldn't have sent Francois and Anatole alone. They could have made it to the old Abbey and back twice by now. We must try to reach them. You go first. You go with him. Pierrot will accompany you. He will be your guide. You can't keep me here. I've got to take care of Piero. We'll see you at the Abbey in 15 minutes. <laughs> Cleve takes care of Piero, but who takes care of Cleve? Let him go, Mendez. He's no longer a child. Be all right. If 
give no further orders, I will personally supervise the deployment of our soldiers. Carry on. Ah, oh, something else, Colonel. Our Judas of the Resistance is here, demanding his 30 pieces. I am glad that I can pay him his due, especially now that we receive the counterfeit notes. Uh -huh. Hey, pick up. Herr Oberst, the latest dispatch from the observatory at Montrouge. Special alert to all sectors. We leave this to headquarters. It is their responsibility. Yeah. For headquarters. Francois. We gotta find Anatole. Spread out.
don't try. It's no use. I'll never fight again. I know it. Don't stay here. What kind of talk is that? There's a lot of fight left in you yet. Hey, Piero, give me a hand. <laughs> Chin up. Tomorrow I guys will land here and the medics will fix you up like new. Don't kid me. I I know I'm gonna die. It doesn't matter if I die. I would like for you to take care of Piero. Same as me. It'd be better off knowing that someone cared for him. Sure. Is there anyone you'd like to, to send a message to? I've only got the father. <laughs> we might send him a message. No, my father. No good. I hate him. He walked out of my mother. <laughs> a month after he got her pregnant, she had to fight hard. Every day support us. I thought she was a true saint. But they called her a whore. Don't talk like that, Cliff. Life can be very cruel. Maybe your mother didn't tell your father she was pregnant. Perhaps if she had, he wouldn't have left her. <laughs> Don't hate him. He'd love to have had a son like you. Try to forgive him. I'd like to... tell him I do.
made peace with himself, Sergeant. But I suspect he'd like to go on living. I don't want to now. I've no hope left. I've no right to live anymore. Let's go. Se fosse andato con lui sarebbe vivo, ma lei non ha voluto. No, no, non le farò questo favore. Muoia dentro coi suoi rimorsi come non sarei vermi. Sergente, lo seppelliamo, vero? Ora non c'è tempo. Ne avremo molto domani. I smell a rat. Well, the smell of 20,000 bucks is enough for me. Put up your hand. Yes. It's true. It was I. My uncle betrayed us all. I'll kill him, Salon. None of that. He's brought the Germans. Keep down. I I might have let you be killed with the others, but the Gestapo promised me double the usual price if I could capture you. Throw your weapons on the ground. Snap. Throw down your weapons. They'd like to know the plans of your invasion. And they are quite capable of making you speak. You damn pig. I'll butcher that damn pig. Start to! You out of your mind? You want him to get us too? Come on. There's only one possibility. And that surprised them while they're on the march. We ought to split in two parties so we can get them in a crossfire. Yeah. The only solution. You take Piero and Armin on one side. Yvonne, Jacqueline, and I. Uh -huh. But why separate all the love birds? Better you go with Piero, I'll go with those two. So each stays with his own woman. I mean, unless you prefer to have me go with Yvonne. Why not? But you take Armin. And attack when we do, or we're liable to be slaughtered.
And this thing weighs a ton. I'll take it for you. It's too heavy for women and children. You'd be out of breath in ten years. Maybe you're afraid. Sir, you want to show off in front of little Miss Muffet, huh? Well, you got yourself an opportunity. Come on. Eh? Wait. <laughs> Now, pick it up. Now, gun. Now, me and you might talk. Me and you attack. And what do we do with Junior? Oh, he go to sleep here. So he'll not be killed. If you think I'm going to save Loverboy's neck at the risk of my own, you better think. <laughs> <laughs> yourself down. I got the little mark. To validate the one I want. Get ready. Much money. What's your price? Five thousand dollars. Not if they had a dollar that the Germans gave for you. I also got three thousand marks from the SS. Good as gold. Let's see. <laughs> I wish I could kill you a hundred times. This is the best I can do. <laughs>
don't think I'll see how it ends. I cut more holes than these Swiss cheese. The end is a miserable one, and it won't be long. It's all because of Alan. I'd just like to get my hands on him, the bastard. Alan! What the hell happened? What? That's your own knife. Where's Ivan? Uh, Where are and Jacqueline? Uh, I knocked him cold. I had to. What happened to the girl? I strangled her. She made me do it, Glenn. No, no woman insults me. It's all my fault. I should have got rid of him a long time ago. A sex maniac. I shouldn't have let him join our group. I might be of use. All right, Blaine. I swear. That's why I came back looking for you. But there's nothing we can do here. I can keep going a while longer. An hour or two. If I don't pull this knife out. Look at your man. You can't even move. If you don't want to try. Man, it's not all by herself. We ain't got nothing. You'll never make it. Well, she ain't got nothing to lose. We got to. Chicken out, eh, Blin? Broken down Marine, that's all I can say. Go to hell. Follow me. If you can. Oh, mon dieu, mon dieu. How long will you let men be like wolves to other men? How long will you let Cain go on killing his brother? Oh, hey, mon enfant. Hey, Mme Justine, c'est moi, Pierrot. Oh, mon Pierrot. Mon enfant. I'm guiding them to the orphanage of Saint Michel. Mon fils, mais tu es bien tout. Tu es un enfant qui se passe chez un moment. I will take you to the little house where we live now and I'll put everything on that. Don't But you worry. Aren't you still at Saint Michel? The house was gone in deal. They installed a transmitter in it, and they received signals from other Nazis around Montrouge. They broadcast the information, that's what I heard. Now we must take care of that nasty fool. No wonder we couldn't destroy the radio station. They switched locations. And now we can finally destroy it. Sure. They don't expect us at San Michel. We need a car, a jeep, something. We've got it. Why not come and do that one? You're right. Let's split. Over there. Couldn't have asked for better. Taxi with all the accessories. Two more hours, and it'll be too late. per fare un'altra guerra. Non contare su di me. Ormai la mia sta per finire. E bisognerebbe che Bob lo capisse e faccia... I'll wait for you. Now I know I'll come back.
reach the gate. Slow down. Bob, you jump out and try to take over that machine gun. You can't leave me out of it, Sarge. Don't be a fool. I need you to cover us. Do as I say. That's an order.
You did a good job, kid. I could be out that wheel on Scram. What about you, Sarge? You got your orders. Our job's done. Get out of here. 